Thank you to Dean Janow, our program directors, professors, and SIPA's leadership for making Columbia history today with the first ever virtual commencement. And thank you to Darren Walker for your inspiring words. Today, we acknowledge our graduation with a little less pomp, but arguably much more circumstance than we could have predicted. But let's be honest, we didn't come to SIPA for the pomp and circumstance. No, we came to SIPA because as SIPA students, we have a roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty grit when we know there's work to be done and we can contribute. In the face of the coronavirus pandemic, while our colleagues in medicine are working to flatten the curve, we will be working to close the gap. We came to SIPA in 2018, having seen the past 10 years of growing inequality, rising authoritarianism, systematic racism and oppression, and environmental degradation, both in our local communities and globally. And we came to SIPA, believing we represent a new generation of leadership. The current global crisis exacerbates these realities and it sharpens the divides. But as emerging leaders, we do not believe that a future along this trajectory is predetermined. I think back to Mayor Nutter's class last fall, when 40 of us on the first day introduced why we chose the course. Each of us seemed to one-up the person before us with the level of corruption and ineffectiveness we had observed firsthand in our home country's government. But what struck me was that rather than being jaded and turning away from careers in public service, we arrived at SIPA because we truly believed that with the right tools, we could be effective leaders and change these patterns. As the next generation of public sector leaders, our class is optimistic and resilient because we know that those are the qualities needed to shift the needle on entrenched policies affecting our community's most vulnerable members. Receiving our diplomas marks that we are equipped to make just fiscal and economic policy, negotiate treaties, set environmental regulations, get out the vote and pass legislation to make our societies more equitable. These characteristics of SEPA students, grit, optimism, and resilience, should make our communities reassured and hopeful about the future with this class of SEPA students as its leaders. Our work to close the gap is going to be both critical and essential. I'm humbled to be a fellow SEPA alum, and I look forward to seeing you back on campus and inevitably when we cross paths around the world.